Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is to answer some questions of confused users with 21H1. So a lot of people have actually applied 21H1 already from uh, what I see on the channel here. Uh, most people report how fast it actually installs, even some people wondering did it really install because it went so quickly, I'm not sure it did. Uh, to see if it did, what you could do is go into the search in Windows and type Winver, W-I-N-V-E-R, and check out what version you have. You should be at version 21H1, 19043.985. This is what the latest version of Windows 10 is on 21H1. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, you know, I don't have the news and interest. I wanted to see that. I upgraded just for that. Let's be clear. The news and interest is not a 21H1 feature. It's actually available up to version 2004. So even if you don't update, the news and interest should be there. And it shows up here in the, the uh, taskbar. So you can actually see icons and text and so on. And it shows up here in the bar. And of course, you can click on it to get the latest news and the latest information, uh, depending on what you do. So that is not something that is specific to 21H1. This is already on 20H2 <clears throat> and 20 uh, version 2004. The other thing, a lot of people saying, well, you know, I upgraded because I wanted to have those cool new, uh, you know, uh, the folders in my uh, file explorer and so on. Well, that doesn't work like that. It's not the version that has these features. What we have shown with new icons, with better, um, you know, a, a new style of, um, of icon also in the settings menu and so on, that's coming just this fall. It's 21H2 that's going to bring these new features. 21H1, and I will repeat it, is a very minor update with pretty much nothing new except under the hood changes for um, developers, enterprise, and so on. And one little feature in the Windows Hello where you can now use uh, multiple external cameras to unlock your PC. There's nothing else. And so there's really uh, nothing interesting. And it's all right. We have a small update. It works well. I haven't really seen many people or if very, very rarely seen people complain on 21H1 right now. It seems to be a very solid update. Um, you know, a lot of people I, I misunderstand why their PC crashes. I see so many people posting, well, you know, well, I'm going to wait because, you know, their 20H2 is crashing all the time and version 2004 is bad. And it's not. It's actually they're rock solid. If your PC is crashing on any of these versions right now, your PC has something that you have to check. Is it hardware? Is it drivers? Is it software you have installed? But you obviously have something wrong because these versions are rock solid and the amount of people having problems in any of the versions since, um, you know, version 2004 uh, is very, very low. Um, we did have a couple of weird things happen because of some of the updates, but apart from that, everything is rock solid. All my machines are there. All my machines on 21H1 right now. None of them crash. None of them are slow. None of them have problems. You should check your drivers. You should check the software you've installed. Maybe it's a sign that it's time to reinstall Windows from scratch and erase everything. It happens from time to time. You have to do it to gain back that speed that you had before, especially after many years of use. So uh, there is no problem, and it's rock solid, I can tell you that. And you should move to 21H1 if you want to stay there for a long time. You've got 18 months starting from here, which is nice. But, um, you know, and of course, those of you that are saying, well, you know, I'm, I'd rather still wait, it's fine also. I mean, if you're on 20H2 and everything is nice, I mean, there's no new features that you're going to see, f you know, right in front of you. So, of course, um, it's fine also to stay there. Um, you know, but if you have or one of those that you know, are moving on from 1909 or even from 2004, the main 2020 update, I think it's worth it to go all the way and just go to 21H1 and you'll be okay for 18 months. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.